Hello, my strong, strong friends. In today's video, I am gonna give you the absolute best beginner workout routine. This video is for anyone who's unsure about what they're doing in the weight room and whether your goal is fat loss, muscle gain, whether you wanna get stronger or just look better, if you wanna feel healthier or just be more badass, this program and the tips in this video will definitely help you get there. If you are new here, then hello, my name is Meg and I'm a certified fitness trainer and I'm also a power lifter. I myself was a beginner in the gym about six years ago. And if you guys wanna see more beginner gym videos like this, then please do give this video a like so that I know to make more. And then if you're new here, then subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every single Friday. We also have a lot of technique videos. I'll talk more about them later in this one, but I'll link the technique and how to lift playlist down below. If you clicked on this video because you yourself are a beginner, then leave me a comment down below so that I know and you can just tell me I'm a beginner. I want to see how many of you consider yourselves some sort of gym noob. I wanna kinda gauge how many of you guys are out there and watching my videos. Hello, my fresh, fresh friends. What was that? Do you, you like, you get it, hello, fresh? Hello, my fresh. Hey, you guys, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. So thank you so much to HelloFresh for making this one possible. I've talked about them before, but with HelloFresh, you can get easy seasonal recipes and pre-measured ingredients delivered right to your door. All you have to do is cook and enjoy. Babe, do you remember when we used to live in New York and our fridge was like this big and we would do takeout every single night? I had a bigger fridge in college, for real. The, oh. like, the microwave combo fridge. We used to do takeout every night, so when we lived in New York, HelloFresh was awesome because we would just get delivered our meals and then we didn't have to keep like a whole huge thing of sage seasoning when I was only gonna use it for one recipe per year. So HelloFresh, you can break out of your takeout rut with 20 plus seasonal chef curated recipes every single week. You can easily change your delivery days or food preferences, or you can even skip a week whenever you need. HelloFresh is now from $6.99 per serving, which is a great price. You can get the most of your meal for your moolah and get started with eight free meals. That's $80 off your first month of HelloFresh. All you have to do is go to HelloFresh.com and enter my promo code MAKESQUATS80. In this video, we're showing you week one of this program and providing movement demos that you can always click back to check up on if you need some form cues. Check out the pinned comment down below for timestamps on the different days of the week or specific movements that we have in this video. I do have a few in-depth technique videos breaking down the squat and the deadlift and more lifts, so I'll link those down below so that you can save them or book them for your next workout. Okay, enough of the boring stuff, let's get into our training. We'll be focused on training four days a week. Forget any notion that you need to be in the gym for six or seven days a week to make any progress. Four fits in with most people's lifestyles and allows some time for other hobbies, interests, or even other forms of physical activity. So if you like cardio or even going on a walk with your family, I encourage you to do that because that will continue to keep you healthy and keep you moving forward in your fitness journey. On screen, I'll be showing you the movements for each day of the week, as well as listing substitutions, rest times, sets, and reps. Workouts should be simple. Our goal here over the course of the week is to work through different planes with heavy weight so we're getting stronger, building our muscles, and helping us live a happy, pain-free, and successful life. We base this workout around some basic movement patterns. Those movement patterns are the squat, a hip hinge, that's a deadlift, press, both horizontal and vertical, pull, again, both horizontal and vertical, unilateral isolation in both the upper and lower extremities, core and trunk stabilization, and of course, my favorite and maybe the most important part, your pretty muscles. What do we mean by that? Calves. Okay. I was thinking biceps, but calves too, yeah, sure. There's no caps. <laughs> I had it and then it felt disingenuous. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
We like to add pretty muscles in there and movements that complement them because I think it's important to health and confidence in the gym. Plus, I don't think I would ever write a program that didn't have at least one bicep curl in it. I do have a quick note on the concept of dogma when it comes to training and other coaches. Now you may have come across, or maybe one day you will come across, a school of thought or a structured program that is completely dogmatic. Maybe you've even heard a group of coaches or a single coach say things like, you shouldn't train that way, you can't do things in that order, you shouldn't add curls to squat day which is absolutely insane. But on our camp, we like to keep an open mind with training and we're weary when we read or hear something that projects that this is the only way to do this. There's still a lot of strength and conditioning research that has yet to be done and we like to keep our minds open to different perspectives and new research and new ideas. This tip is something that I hope you keep with you as you get better at and more involved with the lifting community. At the end of the day, the biggest driver of long-term progress is consistency. That means the program that will set you up for the most success is the one that is fun, aligned to your goals, and most importantly, will keep you coming back to the gym week after week and month after month. So if you wanna do some curls, then just do your damn curls. I don't care what coach tells you, you shouldn't be doing curls after squats. <sighs> Got heated there. <laughs> The most important thing you must do, you have to do this, in this program or any program is to prioritize progressive overload. The principle of progressive overload basically means that over time, you're gradually increasing in weight, reps, sets, or even a few other ways to make it so that every workout is harder than the last one. Over time, you'll be able to sneak in more weight, more reps, more sets, to do more things than you could have ever dreamed of doing on day one, week one. For this program, we suggest using progressive overload by taking the first exercise of every day and aiming to add weight to that one. We suggest about five to 10 pounds week to week. For example, if this week I deadlift 100 pounds, then next week I wanna make sure I deadlift at least 105 pounds. Then the following week, I'll add five more pounds on top of that. So you can see week after week, you're continuing to add more weight as you go. For the first week of training, make sure that you're choosing a weight that is difficult, but something that you can progress in week over week. You don't wanna kill yourself with something too heavy because you wanna keep growing so that you can do more in four weeks than you could ever do today. For other exercises, you can aim to use at least the same weight as the previous week, but reps and sets will increase. The principle of progressive overload is one of the most important things in your training, and it will be the difference between going to the gym and exercising versus making consistent progress. This is why we suggest running a dedicated and structured program so that you can start to see some serious gains and get hooked on training. A lot of lifters have a big turning point when they transition from just working out to training meaning that they feel more inspired and consistent when they're walking into the gym with some purpose and seeing their weights go up each week. We're also gonna focus on getting you better at lifting. Like I've been showing on screen, the more advanced movements, mostly the ones that involve a barbell, all have a suggestion for a substitution. I suggest to start with the movement that you feel most comfortable with and then build strength, familiarity, and ease with that movement pattern for a few weeks. When you're ready, advance the more difficult variation. You can get a lot of strength work done using kettlebells, heavy dumbbells, sandbags, cable machines, or even just bodyweight resistance. However, once you get to a certain level of strength, barbell training is the best tool to continue to advance and implement that concept of progressive overload as you can consistently add incremental weights over time. There are a few ways to get comfortable and to intro yourself into some barbell training. My suggestion is to join a gym that has a good barbell community. You can make friends in that gym, watch form and technique videos here on YouTube, or you could even hire a personal trainer or take a CrossFit class to get some hands-on coaching. You're best off looking for a trainer or a coach who has experience in the sport of weightlifting or the sport of powerlifting, or you could look for a coach with a functional movement system certification. They teach you.
teach you how to move the things correctly. All right, now the title of this video is only slightly dramatic. If I'm being honest, there are tons of things that you can do to get strong and get started in the gym. In my opinion, there is no one best program, but here's why we think ours is really freaking good. These are the principles we use to build the program you're seeing in this video. First, this one is overload based, but still approachable. We'll provide substitutions to scale up or down to meet you at the level you're on today. Some novice programs will have you touching barbells or getting on machines that you might not even know the names of yet. And this is definitely the direction we encourage you to move in, but we want to recognize that everyone has a different starting point. So we've provided substitutions for some of the more challenging barbell lifts, meaning you can start wherever you're at right now and work your way up to some of the more serious equipment while you're still pushing yourself every workout. This program is balanced and well-rounded. Beginner gym goers need to build a strong base of strength training. At the same time, a lot of novice programs can be overly specific, intentionally avoiding easy to learn, high benefit, low cost exercises that are well aligned to your goals. Our program includes some isolated movements to keep training fun and better help you see and feel your muscles growing. Each day of training will be a full body training day and includes several compound movements as well as some accessory lifts. We also want you to gain some confidence. We're here to set you up for long-term success. Our goal is to get you really excited about training and moving towards mastering a number of fundamental movement patterns. We also focus on keeping movements simple. I've been training for about six years now and I still do the same movements all the time. In fact, you'll be doing a lot of the same movements that professional bodybuilders, very serious power lifters, and even fitness models do in their training programs. Unfortunately for me, simple isn't a great marketing technique, but simple works. We're sticking to the basics and leaving those crazy hit workouts where you're jumping all around the gym alone for now. Lifters of any level can make progress following a basic progression like this, but many people feel the need to switch it up or try something new once they plateau or once they get bored of making their own kind of program. If you're someone who feels like they're already comfortable with the barbell and want a little more variety, as well as a more defined roadmap towards progress, then check out my program Stronger by the Day. All of our programming is written in long-term cycles to drive real, sustainable progress. Each week of programming is dripped out on Sundays and our training cycles evolve over the course of the year to ensure that our lifters are increasing their strength building new school skills, and having more fun than ever in the gym. Stronger by the Day is only $8 a month and comes with plenty of resources. Click the link down below to join our team today. All right, that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for joining and checking out our suggestions for beginners. If you're a beginner, then please go ahead and comment down below again that you're a beginner so that I know you're here. Also, while you're down there, it would be a huge help if you let me know what your biggest struggle in the gym is so that I can make a future video on that topic exactly. Give this video a like if you found any part helpful, and if you're not already, then subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post videos every single Friday. Thanks again for being here, and I'll see you guys next week.